Welcome to the TechnologyCloset.com and our quick shots. Previously we discussed with Windows 8 the ability of Windows 8 to actually recognize and mount an ISO file. Well we can actually take ISO files that we find for example on the internet in my case computer manuals and I can actually burn those to a DVD or CD without using third-party software. The application does come built in to Windows 8. Unfortunately, it is not one we can find, at least not readily. It is a hidden command, but it is there. Let me show you where it is. First, let's open up our desktop. Well, that command that we're looking for is called ISO burn. Here is the command, and we'll be putting it in the run box. Let me show you what that looks like. Let's copy the ISO burn. Hold your Windows key down, hit the R key, and type it into the run box. Notice though, when we get the Windows disk image burner usage, it tells us we have to have actually the application, a forward slash Q switch, the drive letter, and the image file. Well, let's go a little step further. I'm going to show you where my ISO file is located. First, I'm going to open up my computer. My ISO is located on my C drive. It's located in the root directory, and it's called Manuals. And it is an ISO file, or disk image file, as you can see. That's the name of it and its location. You need to know that. Now, if we type in ISO burn, we have to give it those parameters. Well, what do those parameters look like? What's the proper syntax? This is the proper syntax. Well, that's a little strange. It's the application with the slash Q switch, the drive letter where my DVD burner is located, and the name of my file. Well, let me demonstrate that using my file. I'm going to copy the command with the manuals.iso. Again, application slash Q. This is the drive where the burner is and this is the pathway to my file and the file name. Copy that. Open up the run box. Type that in. Click OK. And now you can see the Windows image burner box comes up. It shows the proper image. It shows the drive. It tells us there's no disk in there. We must put a disk in in order to burn it, of course. Once you do that, you want to check this box at the bottom, Verify Disk After Burning. And then, of course, select Burn. And that's it. Well, that completes this quick shot. Please visit us at the technologycloset.com website. And while you're there, click on the button and check out our YouTube channel. Until next time.